Hi YouTube, we're here with the ASK21 UMX again and uh, got some, I got a hair tie in there that's going to return this to home position. It seems to be working okay so far. And you can see I've got my 300 milliamp hour LiPo, which seems to work pretty good. So we'll just give it some power and then it returns eventually, but it, it does take some effort. It takes some time. So everything's been tested. Here goes nothing. Oops. Okay. I'll go around the same way. So I cut the power. You see, that's the problem is that even with this uh, rubber band to help retract, help retract things, it still doesn't have quite enough to just totally stop the inertia of the motor. So I'm actually not 100% sure the best way to do that. But if I were to get it up to altitude and then cut the throttle, then I could I could possibly glide it down with the prop collapse. The trouble is with an unreliable motor, that's always a bad idea. Because you don't know if it's going to pop back out. Why the heck are we hearing a train like it's I, street? Yeah. Where is the train? Confused. Where does the train get moved in? So, as you can see, this thing is not the most agile creature I've ever flown. This is really pushing its limits. <laughs> and while it looks really awesome doing that, it's just weak. And, I mean, it's like probably one of the more scarier planes I fly because you're always flying it right at the limit of, of its stall tendencies. I'm gonna land it, in fact. And then it lands like that, so far. Okay. So basically the moral of the story is, if you get one of these, if you're so fortunate to get one of these discontinued for three years planes, <laughs> that are really, really, really pretty, I'll give you that. Um, I don't know, maybe the Nexus 900 is better. It's available from Hobby King as an ARF, and it's got wingerons, so the whole wing moves up and down. It kind of keeps to this look and it's it's all composite problem is this thing still is really pretty even with my frankensteining on it and i did have one collision with the garage door um, i came in shot my throttle bounced and rolled and then hit so the nose has collapsed a little bit so far and the other thing is even though i've increased the size of the elevator with that clear tape I still feel like I don't have enough authority for lift, and that's because it's a little bit heavier. I'm also flying with the 300 milliamp, but even with a 150 milliamp pack, I just don't feel like I have enough power there to really fly the thing. Um, that being said, I can still slope this plane right, right now as it is. I can go out to the slope, I can turn on the throttle cut, I don't have to worry about accidentally starting this, or turn on the turn off the throttle cut, give it a little throttle, get the AS3X working, and then run it that way. Or I can do a virgin startup, leave the throttle cut on, and not start it, and then keep the AS3X from being initiated. Um, but I don't see thermaling this thing, really, not with this configuration. Although I can tell you, based on the high tow characteristics on this plane, there is no way that you were gonna be high towing this thing to a thermal. Not unless you added about, uh, say, a thousand feet to that high tow. So, and then you'll need like three neighborhoods to do it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, in closing, yep, that's right. Hold on, we'll try it again. There we go. That thing is still pretty sweet looking, despite its ugliness. And um, when I get a new motor in there, I'll do another review for you guys so you can see how much better it performs with a Radian motor as opposed to a broken Sport Cub motor. Sport Cub S UMX, Radian UMX, UMX. So keep watching for that. Thanks a lot for enduring this project. It's been painful for me too, but you know what's more painful is when you get an Arcus M 
and the thing is dead on the maiden and you have to send it in and they say it's going to take two weeks to send you another one even though you bought and paid for it so anyway that's fine i guess my time is up for grabs thanks for watching